Hey everybody, all the project directors and team leaders just want to send a word of greeting from myself and Katie and make some announcements for you and introductions really on what's happening with uh, Global Expeditions and with our new director of Global Expeditions, Dan Crosby. I'm introducing him to you right now. Here he is <laughs> in living color. Great and to see you. Dan and I, we've been friends for a lot of years. A lot of years. He is an old school team mania, old school when we call it team mania missions, That's actually, true. back in the Tulsa days. Yep. And you were a staff member. Your wife was on the very first mission, mission trip. With you. Very, very first. Guatemala. And so, and, and I understand you married young. Uh, you married her when she was very young, so that uh, we won't say how old Puts you are. Puts me really young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is great to have you back involved as part of the, the whole uh, the spirit and the vision going forward with the uh, missions. And over the years, I've watched what you've done. You, you've been involved in missions all these years. So take a minute and introduce yourself to the PDs and the TLs and tell them a little bit about all the experience that you've had Absolutely. in missions. Well, I tell you, what a great honor and a privilege it is to be back at Team Mania after all these years. I feel like family, you know, I guess is the best way to put it. We, you know, back in the day, you know, we were going out on these mission trips. We were reminiscing the other day just about Nicaragua and some of the things that we had down there, and that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. And he has some pictures of me that he's being paid to never show anybody. Yeah, so PD show up to PD Summit, and we will show you those photos. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a big payoff before then, so... And then, uh, but yeah, so seriously, it's been an awesome journey. And then we've had an opportunity, uh, Marie and I have had an opportunity to actually continue on with that um, through short-term missions. And the, our heart and our passion has always been about reaching unreached people groups. And how do we do that? And how do we make that happen? And so we had a great opportunity, went into Tanzania, East Africa, and uh, sent teams in, short-term teams in over a period of time. And four years, and at the end of the four-year process, 99.9% .9 Muslim community actually had their very first church plant ever outside of Somalia. So it was, it was, it, that was an awesome journey to take. So you know, we love missions. We love everything about missions, and our heart and our passion and our heartbeat has been missions for all these years. There's nothing that um, stirs within Maria and I than that. And so we are excited about taking this journey, this next step in Team Mania history and moving to the next level and how we do missions and all that kind of stuff. So this, this is an awesome time. Many of you are um, sure aware now of our new model for this coming summer where we're doing the training and debriefing in the countries. We're very excited and we're going to do everything we can to um, prepare all the PDs and the TLs to have great training, great debriefing. But we wanted, as we're thinking about going forward, you know, uh, Dan and I, we've brainstormed a lot in terms of the types of trips we do and making, making sure they're cutting edge, seeing how much we can actually penetrate unreached people groups with the short-term teams and help plant churches. And so we're very excited about that. Of course, we've got a lot of youth groups coming this summer and we hope to have many more instead of people having to choose between GE and the youth group a trip. Well, we're, gonna, we're inviting these guys, making it more easy. Is basically, we become the vendor of choice for a youth pastor and a youth group. But, for this summer, just want to uh, incur, uh, just sh share with these guys a little bit about what's, what we're planning for the PDs and for the TLs as far as uh, meeting at Gateway Cities and Absolutely. things. So it's going to be an exciting year. I mean, here we've got uh, PDs. We're going to, again, we're going to go with the PD Summit this year. And then our idea is seeing how we've changed up the model, how we're doing things with ease and accessibility and helping people actually be able to get to the mission field um, with a lot more ease and having Gateway Cities. Now we're going to have the opportunity to actually have Gateway City training. So all of our TL training, MA training, all of that is going to be done at the Gateway. And uh, Ron and I are going to have an opportunity to participate with that with you guys. And so we're really excited about that. What, here, here's the thing I, I'm excited about. You know, we've had these big events here on campus, and that's been a lot of fun. And now as we move into Team Mania 2.0, now we're actually moving into this ability to be able to take these this journey together and being very intimate with it, having a high impact within every individual life that actually comes on a mission trip with us. So I'm excited about that and having, these PD, having the PD Summit along with these TLMA uh, Gateway City trainings as well. So we meet in the Gateway City as a TL and right. all the MAs will be there along with the PDs for a couple, two or three days before all the young people come. And there'll be ministry there in yeah. the in inner city and that kind of thing, but also training and preparing and then get back to the actual airport to meet all the young people at their gates and then get them the same day to the international flights. So, on, so for instance, imagine this with us. So we're in those Gateway Cities. Like Ron and I were reminisc reminiscing about Nicaragua, how awesome that was. We had. 
MAs and TLs and we were in Nicaragua doing it. Well, imagine that kind of a feel happening within each of those gateway cities. So now all of a sudden, we've got basically a TL and an MA coming for a second trip almost. And, uh, and, and while getting their training and having an impact, partnering together with the local churches there to have an impact within their community. So I just think it's an awesome, an, an awesome way to go with, as far as missions is concerned. So we want to just encourage you, project directors, get ready for a PD Summit. We'll be sending you information when that is and where it is as soon as possible. But also, um, if you haven't been back at the PD for a while, please, we're, we're inviting you to come back, be a part of this you know, revolution as we get young people from all over the world. We'll have other groups, we believe, coming from like Asia and places like France to other countries meeting up with the North American team and be a part of this revolution, infecting young people with a heart for unreached peoples around the world. If you're a team leader, we really want you to come or come back. If you've never been a team leader, but you're about that right age, hey, now's the time. We, we want you back. Click on the button there so you can you know, figure out what your next step is in terms of participating. If you're an MA age, you're college age, or maybe uh, you've never been an MA, but you're just 18 or 19, listen, we want you to come. And, and maybe you came as a young person and you had a great time. Well, you know, you kind of get double the experience because you get to pour into young people, but of course the nationals as well. And so be a part of the leadership structure that makes it possible for all these lives to be changed around the world. Amen, that's awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing you this summer. We're doing everything we can to make sure that these trips are the best ever. And it really has forced us to think outside the box, like how we do worship and what, what do we do with video clips and stuff, arming you and equipping you with tools as you're doing the training and the different sessions throughout the mission trips, as you do the debriefing, the manuals, so that we have standardization, but it's you know in the kids' hands, it's in your hands, so it can be standardized all around the world, but a chance for you to make it your, your own and unique as well. So God bless you. We'll see you this summer and looking forward to seeing the thousands of lives that are going to be changed through all of us working together. Oh,